Hello everyone. Welcome back to Istanbul Online Classes. My dears, before getting into our lesson, I would like to ask you some questions. Like, how all of we are here? Yes, it is by the process called reproduction. Just imagine, if there was no process of reproduction, what would have happened? Yes, if there was no process of reproduction, we would not be able to stand here. It means that we have already learned why it is very essential for all the living organisms to reproduce. That too in the lesson of why it is very essential to reproduce in the plants. That is what we have learnt in our first class. That is first lesson. That is reproduction in plants. In that class, I hope you might not be forgotten, but you might not be having very clarification about why reproduction is very essential. See, I tell you, I have told you in my first class with an example of mango seed. That while teaching the lesson of the process, why the reproduction in the plants. Sorry my dears, while teaching the lesson reproduction in the plants, I have given you example of mango seed and taught you why reproduction is very essential in the plants. Now I would like to glance you that if we are having a single seed of mango and if we have grown that and we have eaten the fruits of that and if that plant is not having capability to reproduce we would not grow another mango seed. So that everyone not until that generation or until that people who have seen the mango tree would only remember the tree of mango would only have capability to tell of mango tree because they have seen that just think if this mango tree is not producing the seeds of their own kind we would not grow the another mango tree so that their extension like mango tree would die or they, we will not get any other plants to show like and show and tell that is mango tree because it is not actually mango tree. This is what related to plants we have learned. Now as we are learning reproduction in the animals, just think we have a cat. If this cat is not reproducing its own kind, what would happen? Nothing would happen, but for next future generation, we will not have any such kind of cats to show or to tell about. So that by this, we can understand that reproduction is a very essential characteristic of living organism. Why living things reproduce? Yes, living things reproduce because to continue their race so that their reproduced young ones would represent them in the future. My dears, I will tell you that why reproduction is important. Yes, it is important because if they are not reproducing, there would not be there some other people to represent their ancestors or their before generation. So what? Reproduction is very essential. If a people, not only people, if animals are not reproducing, if there were two human beings, if they have not reproduced, this whole complete world would not be existing now. Because if they die, who would, who would stay in this world? No one. So that whatever this world is today, it is by the human beings or it is by the process of reproduction.
इंट्रोडक्शन एंड माई डियर्स हैज वी आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कस वॉट इज इंट्रोडक्शन एंड वी हैव डिस्कस दैट इंट्रोडक्शन रिलेटेड टू द प्लांट्स नाउ द सेम थिंग वॉट इज रिप्रोडक्शन इज रिप्रोडक्शन इट्सल्फ either it might be plants or animals or any other living organisms reproduction is a process for which they give birth to their own kinds or intergeneration what is reproduction is reproduction is a process of giving birth to their own kinds or to their own offspring so that their next generation would represent them or their extension would never die so that reproduction is very essential as i am telling from the beginning of my class now we have learned what is reproduction i will tell you once that reproduction is a process by which living organisms reproduce or they give birth to their own kinds or to their own offsprings or to their own small kinds whatever we can tell but it is giving birth to their own kinds yes this reproduction we can categorize this reproduction into two types that to in reproduction in animals we can categorize this into two types like some animals or some kind of animals give birth to their offsprings or to their own kinds has all gives but there are two kinds some give direct birth some give birth directly but some animals would not give birth directly but they lay eggs later this eggs whenever it hatch they would grow into next generation or new birth is going to take place whenever these kind of eggs are getting into hatch now i will show you i will give you some examples for these two kinds like human beings human beings don't lay any eggs but they give birth to their younger ones directly here snake where we cannot find if a egg snake is giving birth to their own kinds we cannot see their younger generation of smaller kids smaller of snakes directly what they do is this kind of snakes lay eggs where these eggs later hatches and give birth to the next generation after humans sheep cow and many other animals which are present many other things which are present in our surroundings give birth to their own kinds directly and some examples like hen pigeon would not give birth to their young ones directly but they lay the eggs which then later hatches and give birth to their offspring Yes, my dears, we have learned in our today's class what is reproduction and types of re two types of two methods of reproducing that is by giving birth directly and by laying the eggs. These are the things. Very small information that we have learned in our today's class. The topic is reproduction in animals. Yes, my dears, in our next class we shall. just discuss about more things regarding reproduction in animals until then take care